and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that know, I got a breast reduction on December 14th. It's less than a week after my surgery and I was not even expecting to be able to make a video like this. I thought I was gonna be in bed for like six weeks and I am feeling absolutely amazing. I'm gonna do a video next week that explains more about the surgery, so stay tuned for that if you're looking for that. And thank you for all of the amazing comments and to all of the girls who are also thinking about getting this surgery. I highly, highly, highly suggest it. I think that everybody has a different amount of recovery, everybody has a different experience, but mine was much, much better than I was anticipating. So. I'm linking a blog post below that I wrote yesterday. I'm still super foggy and like kind of out of it and tired and sore, but I wrote a blog post yesterday that explains in depth if you're like urgently wanting to know how my surgery went. So just click that link below uh, and then I'll take you to my blog post and then stay tuned for the video that I'm gonna make next week. But since my surgery, I have pretty much just been hanging out um, and relaxing, not really doing anything. Yesterday I was on Instagram and I saw a picture of the girl from the blonde salad. She has an Awesome, 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 awesome tattoo on your finger. I don't know if you can see this. And so I decided to get this because um, I think that you should really do whatever you want and just make the most of your life and whatever inspires you, do it. So that's what I did last night. Uh, but basically making this video today because on Tuesday, I woke up and saw that T-Mobile had overnighted me the iPhone X. If you don't know, T-Mobile sponsors me. They pay for my phone bill every month and they do everything for my cell phone. So I, prior to being sponsored by T-Mobile, was a huge T-Mobile advocate. I was always having T-Mobile as my company. Um, I switched to T-Mobile about three years ago now and I was paying, my mom was actually, obviously I was like 16, 17 at the time, my mom was paying for the phone bill and because of that, I wanted to switch from something like Verizon because I was obviously always going over data because I was traveling and always needed to be on Instagram and when your whole company, your life is based off of social media, it's kind of crucial that you're like always on your phone and for me, I was getting like crazy $500 a month bills that I was ending up having to pay. I ended up kind of convincing my mom to transfer from Verizon because I had these bills that I was having to pay every month because I was going over my limit to T-Mobile. And at that time, and still does, T-Mobile is the only phone company that gives you free uh, use of your cell phone outside of the United States. So basically for me, when I was going to Fashion Week twice a year and going to London sometimes and just different parts of the world, my sister lives in Turkey, and once again having to deal with the fact that I would walk outside and have no cell phone reception, that would literally give me a heart attack, especially because most of the traveling that I do is on my own and I need a cell phone so that like I don't get kidnapped or something happens or like whatever. So I transferred to T-Mobile about three years ago, was paying for the phone bill and it was really helping me because whenever I was in Europe or any other part of the world I was able to use my phone bill my phone and not have a crazy astronomical bill because all of the charges outside of the United States are included besides texting that's an additional charge so I have now been being sponsored by T-Mobile for about six months and I pitched them the idea to do the unboxing video with the iPhone X a few months ago didn't hear back for them honestly thought that I wasn't gonna get this phone and right now I currently have the iPhone 7s plus T-Mobile has also sent me the Google Pixel phone which I do not have active but I do take pictures with it because I think that the camera on the Google Pixel phone is awesome. T-Mobile has also expanded to have so many new stores across the United States. So if you basically my hometown stores, Connecticut, they opened a massive T-Mobile store there. And now they're opening to tons of other places. When I initially got T-Mobile like three years ago, the only store that was close to me because I was still living at home with my parents was in Manchester, Connecticut. And then there was actually no service up in stores, Connecticut, which is where I live, where my parents live. So at the time, I was only literally able to use this phone on Wi-Fi, but I was like, T-Mobile, I know you're gonna make breakthrough. I know that one day you're gonna have stores in all of these small tiny towns and it's been a few years and they finally do. So at the moment I have the Google Pixel phone which I use for pictures and then I have my T-Mobile iPhone 7S Plus um, and it has been great. Um, I have the jump plan with T-Mobile. If you don't know about the jump plan, it's also absolutely amazing. Every three months if I've paid off, I think it's like half of the phone, you can basically get the new phone. So that's not what I did for the iPhone set, uh, the iPhone X that I just got sent, but it's just another perk with T-Mobile that when I was paying for my phone bill, every three months I could get a new phone and I would pretty much just start paying it over again. So that's 
just one of the many perks of switching to T-Mobile. So I would highly encourage it. Yes, I'm sponsored by them, but I also had this company way before I even knew how to get sponsored. Also going to link that below of how to get yourself sponsored by awesome companies like T-Mobile and British Airways. So check that video out. T-Mobile sent me it in the UPS. They overnighted it to me, which was awesome. Um, basically, this is how it comes. I haven't even had a chance to open it yet. I did go and buy a Louis Vuitton phone case with it, so I haven't gotten that in the mail yet either, but um, that's supposed to come tomorrow. I did end up taking the paper out a bit, but this is what it looks like. If you can see. I um, was surprised to read on, I'm just gonna take this thing, like this foam out. I was surprised to read on the back that it comes with the iPhone X, obviously, but then it comes with the ear pods with the lightning connector. This was like such a huge career move for me to actually be able to get this phone and like get it for free. <gasps> oh my God, it's so big. Because I don't know, I just feel like I've gotten, yes, I get cool things and British Airways sponsors me and that was really cool, but like this is like a cell phone and my life is a cell phone and also my new little baby eye tattoo is gonna be so cute with it, so I'm really excited. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm obviously like, really excited. I wanted to get the iPhone X instead of the iPhone 8, I think it was, because I just feel like the iPhone X is like the best. This is obviously beautiful. Oh, it's actually a lot different. So my iPhone, the camera sideways. Oh, so this camera, I'm bad at anything relating to like things like this, but this is horizontal, the iPhone 7S Plus, and this is vertical, which is the iPhone X, so that's kind of cool. They sent it to me in the black. My iPhone 7S is in rose gold, but I'm actually kind of vibing with black now. I think just living in LA, the whole mood is like very black. Okay, turning the iPhone on. Looks good so far, but I hate how iPhones, you always get your fingerprints all over. It's actually kind of neat because um, I, you see the reflection in the phone. Okay, turning it on. In the meantime, I'm gonna open this. Oh, okay, it says, hello. Swipe to open. Ooh, hola. Where am I swiping? Do I swipe up? Okay. Ooh. This is just like regular quick start, set up manually. If you have an iPhone or running, bring it nearby to set it up automatically. Uh, I guess I'll just set up manually. Okay, set up the Wi-Fi. So inside the box, what you're gonna see is a new charger that you basically take out. Ah, my phone's already, okay, so this is gonna take a few minutes to activate and I don't wanna break it, so I'm just gonna set it there. This is obviously the regular iPhone charger, boring. I'm kinda over regular chargers. I want a Bluetooth charger, so if that's out there, I uh, would love that. So here is the headphones. Oh! I think I might have gotten a little bit confused. So it said on the back that, you know, Apple is so confusing. It said it comes with the AirPods. Apparently they're considering these to be the AirPods and these are obviously the regular headphones. So Gabe, I know you're watching this video. I need my AirPods back. Um, but so this is just regular headphones, I think, which really doesn't make a lot of sense because they should just send you the AirPods. I hate these headphones. I don't know if anybody else, then they send you the jack too. I have these regular headphones with the adapter from when I bought my iPhone 7s plus I think it's so annoying I literally bought the airpods just simply because of the fact that um like I hate this long cord and Apple like, you're really scamming here they don't even send you the airpods but whatever let's get into the face ID okay it says iPhone can recognize the unique three-dimensional features of your face to unlock automatically okay continue how to set up face ID first position your face in the camera then move your head in a circle Whoa. First face ID scan complete. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys, this is honestly like nuts. And then it says move your head slowly to compete. Okay, that's a little confusing. Keep saying follow the arrow, but... Okay, second face ID. Scan is complete. Face ID is now set up. Boom! So, let's see. Create a passcode. Okay, my passcode is 4125. Oops, that didn't work. So, hope really nobody steals my phone. Okay. There's like a whole little box that like magnifies it. I'm going to say four digit. So, 4125. 
re-enter your password 4125. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna restore from iCloud. Okay, so there's something really weird going on with this phone. It's literally like magnifying. I'm not sure if you can see that. I never leave it long enough for you to be able to see it. But there's like a box that's magnifying everything. So I'm just gonna set up my, which basically means like I can't entirely see anything. Like I, I see it so close up, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna set up my Apple ID here. And I'm saying it may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID, so that's pretty sick. I'm honestly really excited about this camera because that is supposed to be the best. Now let's see, I'm just looking on my phone to see. Okay, choose backup, let's do this. It's crazy because it's like magnifying everything. I'm just gonna say continue. When I say magnifying, it's like a little box that you can scroll around the screen that doesn't seem to be going away right now that basically like is helping you um, see everything okay uh, and my it already automatically has my card on file so that's great hey Siri hey Siri how's the weather today okay now it says hey Siri is ready share everything with app developers okay what is this iPhone automatically adapts to ambient lighting conditions to make colors appeal consistent in different environments you can change this later in display and brightness settings these are all new um, like things that are coming up that has never come up on my iPhone 7 when I had that so now I'm just gonna click agree and it says now it's automatically making me download new software well it says my iPhone is um, updating I just looked up iPhone X features which basically says that I'm looking for some features that are obviously new to this so um, somebody wrote an article and it says one-handed notification access is bad when I ran a search for this problem to determine if it's just a thing or if it's me um, if you have small chance it can be difficult to use the phone in one hand and reach the upper left hand corner uh, so I don't know I kind of have small hands so that might be an issue, but it says, I know reachability is supposed to help this, but I don't think this is a perfect solution. This data bar at the top no longer shows battery percentage life. I thought that I would be able to like update that, but that's kind of scary. It says, yep, to the right of the top, right of the notch at the top of the iPhone X, you see icons, icons, you see icons for cellular signal. What you don't see is percentage but you're not able to see it anymore, I guess. So it's a little bit customizable, but you can't. With old iPhones, capturing an image of your iPhone screen was easy. That's not the case because there's no home button. Now you press a combination of the right side button and one of the volume buttons. Oh my gosh, I am so bad with technology and I forget everything. This is gonna take me like eight years to get used to. It's awkward to use it when it's docked in a car. I don't actively use my phone when driving, but I do prop my phone up on the dock on a dashboard and use it to listen to podcasts. Um, all right, so this is basically just saying a bunch of stuff, which is definitely going to happen to me, like, because I'm so used to obviously my iPhone having the home button. This is also like massively different in size. This is a huge different in size. Well, obviously my case is huge, but I'm excited for this phone primarily because of the camera. Um, I was actually surprised at how awesome that the camera on the Google Pixel phone was, but this is actually like massively, massively different in size. Um, but for this to be so different in size and still have a really good camera, that part I'm really excited about. It just says preparing update. Not sure why when you unbox this phone that you still have to do an update. That's a little bit frustrating to me um, because I feel like you should get the phone automatically updated, but that's okay. So the phone is finally, finally working. That took about five and a half to six minutes. Surprisingly, I was expecting the phone to um, take a lot longer than that because in my past phone, it takes upwards of an hour for all of the data to transfer over. All of my pictures are, oh, so some of my pictures are not yet there. Um, it says update pause, so I guess it's still updating. So I guess it's syncing all of my pictures in now. Oh, this is so weird. So there's no home button on this phone. Um, so I think that's probably going to take me some time to get used to. All of my pictures now are kind of sinking in and then now I just have to set up certain things like putting my phone number in. I'm not sure then when that phone, my other phone stops working. Um, but now it says 
announced calls, I'm gonna say headphones and car, or actually I'm gonna say always. And then Wi-Fi calling, I always set up. So that's another great thing I love about Wi-Fi calling. And T-Mobile is on JetBlue and Delta, I believe. It might just be JetBlue. You would probably have to check that. But I pretty much always fly JetBlue. And the great thing about that is that T-Mobile lets you text and call for free on JetBlue. So not any... Oh, actually, I think I'm totally wrong. I think... No, so JetBlue, whoops, I screwed that up. So JetBlue has Wi-Fi. Delta lets you call and text for free. I pretty much equally fly Delta and JetBlue. I actually don't fly anything else lately. Uh, and Delta lets you call and text for free on T-Mobile. And with Wi-Fi calling, you can do that and you don't have to do anything besides like to alter turning your phone off of airplane mode or whatever. Uh, so this is really cool. So all of my apps are now installing. It's taking a little bit of time, but obviously then I pretty much just go in and um, I guess like log in and stuff. My Snapchat is like automatically there. So I'm gonna log into that. If you don't have me on Snapchat, add me at Alexa underscore Curtis. So this might take some time, but now I'm in. I'm gonna just take the next few moments to get adjusted to this cell phone, wait for my pictures to go in and everything else, uh, cause it all still says updating. But I'll probably do more on my social media about this phone. This is again gonna take me so much time to get used to because of the fact that there's no home button. So there's literally nothing there that you click. Um, but I guess the good thing about that is that it's all just your screen and then I guess if you if you turn it off, the home button still does that. I was like waiting to see. And then you literally just scroll up. The face ID part is kind of cool. I'm gonna see if it works. So I turn my phone on and I think actually it works. So that's awesome. So basically what face ID means is that when you initially set up your phone, it automatically tailors everything with your face, makes you do what I had to do at the beginning, and then you can automatically turn on your phone. So that's literally awesome, and you don't even have to now click your password. I still have mine anyway, but I just think that's an awesome addition to this phone, along with many other features. So thank you so much, T-Mobile, for sending me this phone. Um, I'm so excited about the camera. I actually forgot to try that out, so wow, definitely looks. Wow, the selfie camera is definitely really good. That's obviously with flash on, but that's so cool. And then there's portrait too, and there's all these settings, wow, that say like natural light, contour light, stage light, that's so cool. And then on square again, it's the same. So, wow, this is so neat. So again, thank you so much T-Mobile. Hope you guys love this video, and remember to follow your dreams. You can get sponsored by any company you wanna get sponsored with. Just watch my other video. I think there's some awesome stuff in there. And I'm gonna go enjoy my new iPhone. Uh, I will see you back on Friday for Sex Ed for Teens. Bye!